Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. And welcome back live here on theCUBE as we continue our coverage at Dell Technologies World 2018. We're live at the Sands and it is now my pleasure for the first time today to say my partner Stu Miniman. Stu, how you been? Awesome, John, great to be talking on theCUBE with you yeah, and our great guests. It's been too, too long, that's for sure. Good to see you again. We're joined by uh, Manuvir Das, who is the Senior Vice President and GM of Unstructured Data at uh, Dell EMC. And Manuvir, right. thanks for being with us, we appreciate it. It's my pleasure to be here. Now, let's, let's talk about your world. Um, you know, this, this exponential growth, this yes. unpredictable growth, all this yes. unstructured data, yes. and now it's worth something, right? Yes, it so, is. So people are turning out to realize what an asset, what a resource yes, that's this has right. become. In fact, it's funny you say asset because the whole theme and tagline for my team is data capital. Because I think people are coming to realize that just like you have capital assets in your factories and your people, data is part of the capital of a company now, right? And you really need to turn it into something. So I think it's an exciting time, you know, uh, for my team, we basically work on file and object storage. Isilon has been a market leader for some time. We have an object storage product called ECS, and we are the market leader, and we have been for some time. But it's a very interesting time because data is growing so uh, greatly now that the leader today can be a nobody five years from now, That's right. right? So what I tell my team every day is, how are we going to disrupt ourselves before we get disrupted so that we can still be the leader five years from now when that exponential growth has continued, right? And so that's what we do every day. We think about what are the ways that on behalf of the customer, the world of unstructured storage is being disrupted and how are we going to be there on the other side with the customer? Right? Yeah, Manavir, I wonder if you could bring us inside the customers because we've been yeah. talking about unstructured data, I don't know, at least five years. Yeah. Um, you know, data, data everywhere, but yeah. how is it changing customers' lives? How is it changing their businesses? Yeah. You know, what, what's the update from the customer viewpoint on unstructured so, data? So we, we have a, an interesting perspective because our business really grew up working with specific verticals, like media and entertainment, life sciences, automotive, and we see that there. For example, in the automotive industry, uh, we have a lot of customers who are doing ADAS, and so they're basically driving vehicles around, capturing videos of a child running across the street, of a bicycle on the road, and they're bringing all that data back to our storage system so that they can train their software that runs on the car, so that when the situation happens in real life, the software does the right thing. Right? In media and entertainment now, with 4K streaming and more and more digitized movies, how do you produce these movies, right? How does Pixar and everybody produce these movies? In life sciences, it's all about genomics. It started in the research domain with genomics, and now it's going into hospitals where people want to use genomics to make real-time decisions about what to do for their patients. And these are all ways in which these existing industries are really using unstructured data now as their lifeblood, right, to, to change their business. So it's an interesting uh, change, really. Yeah, you, know, you mentioned, you said, you know, five years from now, we, we, we want to make sure that we're the disruptor. Yes. The, you know, uh, um, I read a number, and I might not get it, that by, by five years out, all data, or unstructured data, would be 93% of all data. Yes, yes. I mean, so that kind of growth, I mean, when you see that yes. mushroom occurring, yes. Yes. is that, is that uh, put a little bit of fear? Does that put the challenge? I mean, it's a I mean, great I mean, opportunity, uh, yeah. right? It's a great opportunity, and it's an opportunity not just for us at Dell EMC, right? It's an opportunity for everybody, the public cloud vendors, startups, and our only interest is let's take the customer to the right place, and if we can participate in that in some way, I believe that opportunity is so big that we will be happy with whatever share of it we have, as long as the customer gets what they need. And I think every customer is going to have some mix of on-premises storage, appliances, software-defined storage, storage in the public cloud, right? It'll all sort of come together, and I think we have a role to play, right? And if I may, there's really four things we see about how the data is changing, say, from now to five years from now, right? The first thing is flash, right? Flash is no longer just for high-end storage. Flash is everywhere in storage. The second thing is the public cloud, right? More and more data going into the public cloud. 
The third thing is analytics. What is, who is going to pay to store all of this data unless they can actually put it to use, right? And so, how do you provide the analytics? And then the fourth thing is archiving. Because the truth of the matter is when you expand your data at that scale, most of the data is not useful at any point in time. It may be useful tomorrow, but it's not useful for today. So how do you use technologies like object storage to really economically store the bulk of the data, right? So these are the four trends we see. Uh, flash, the public cloud, analytics, and the advent of object, and everything we're doing at Dell EMC with unstructured storage is to embrace these four trends so that we can be uh, come out the other side with the customer on these, right? Yeah. There was one thing that caught my ear during the yeah. keynote this morning. Yes. Many things that were yes. stood out, but one of them, I, I could have sworn Michael said something about Isilon yes. with Google Cloud. Yes. And I'm Googling, I'm looking around. Yes. Obviously, object storage, you know, I think yeah. uh, you know, very much in the public cloud, you yes. know, seeing growth elsewhere, but maybe explain what that is. Yes, and, this is, uh, a, you know, this what, is a new thing we've done on? with okay. Google. So this is our Isilon file storage, is now available for customers of Google in the Google Cloud, right? So for years, our customers have used Isilon on-premise because it's the, really the only solution in the market where you can get a very large file system that performs well, right? You don't have this technology in the public cloud today. And we have all these customers who run their workloads on-prem using Isilon, right? And they're looking to use the compute in the public cloud, but if they don't have Isilon there, they would have to rewrite their application. So we worked out a model with Google where we host our Isilon gear, our physical Isilon clusters, in the same place where Google has their cloud and their compute. So now a customer can run their application on the compute VMs of Google Cloud, but they have some millisecond access to an Isilon cluster that is dedicated to them that is right there. So in this way, they can take the journey to the public cloud, but not have to change their application because they still use Isilon, right? So this is the model we came up with. We've just launched it. So that's what Michael was referring to. We're very excited about it, right? I think it's really an opportunity for the customer to embrace the cloud. And the thing I'm trying to tell every customer that we have, because we've been on premises for a long time, is, Look, I believe in the public cloud. I, I actually worked on building one of those at Microsoft years ago, and all we want is, we want to help the customers get to the public cloud by giving them the same technology there that they've had on premise, right? And so I think everybody wins. Yeah, that, that's exciting. I, 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 thank you so much for going through that. Um, your team you know, is up there in Seattle, yes. uh, you know, so much going on. Um, have there been customers in beta on this? Is this available now? Yes. You know, give some so, of the speech and You know, in the cloud terminology, yeah. people usually start with what they call a tech preview or an early adopter program. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, we have the first customer already running operational on it, and they will be talking about it in some of our breakout sessions as well. So we're in the early adopter program right now, so anybody who's interested can join the early adopter program. It's fully operational, but we're sort of controlling how many customers adopt it first, and then we expand from there. Yeah, let's so. look at the, if you would, the, the risk side of this. Yeah. Uh, with all that data, uh, it's a treasure trove in some respects to a company, yes. but it's also a very alluring target, right? Yes. So from a security standpoint, yes. you know, how, what kind of emphasis are you shifting toward that, yes. knowing that you have that much more waterfront to cover now? Yes, I think, I think it is the key issue, really. And so that's why even, uh, John, in this move to the public cloud that we just talked about, we have not done this as some kind of multi-tenant, shared kind of environment. This is, every customer has a dedicated environment. Their Isilon is in a cage. Everybody can't get into that cage and all the security protocols are in place, right? Uh, so that's a very important aspect of this. And then, whether it's in the cloud or on-premise, we're constantly raising the bar on the security protections. How does the data flow internally uh, between the servers in the cluster? Everything's encrypted, authenticated, protected. So I think that is really the key issue going forward. Well, I know it's a challenge, but as you yeah. said, it's also an opportunity. Yes. So uh, good luck uh, meeting the challenge. And Thank you. Five years from now, we're still talking about yes. you, we'll you see lead, where we are. leading yeah. that chart. Hey, how do you like the music, by the way? Uh, it's great. It's a little loud. That's about a little sure. loud. Right, yes. Thanks for being with us. Sure, my pleasure. We'll continue from a uh, floor that's starting to get a little more energy to it here live at the Sands. We are at Dell Technologies World 2018.